Okay, hi guys. Um, so today I'm obviously on a wine yard. Uh, it's my friend uh, Madeleine's wine yard. Uh, and actually at some point, 20 years ago or something, uh, I was involved in selecting the grapes. So I will show you a bit on how it looks. It will definitely be more quiet today, but internet is, I don't know, I hope it will work. So uh, this is the wine yard. Uh, here we have some breakfast. We usually stay here when we're in Cheshme. There's some cactuses and stuff. Here is a kitchen and a very advanced internet kind of contraption thing in. There is my phone. And there's supposed to be a barbecue also, but uh, our neighbors took it. So. I didn't promote this webinar, but uh, I hope you hear me. Uh, Jorn, is, it, is the sound good? Otherwise I will get my headset. Good. Okay, so um, in today's webinar, like always, we're going to cover some, some of our money sites. And the purpose of this is um, both to manage and train the EVAs to give them the tasks or uh, suggestions on what to improve but it's also kind of a lesson for everyone on how to improve or to learn how to make money online basically so, so. <clears throat> in this webinar today i will cover the weekly review i will discuss the power of long tail um because of corona and the season the searches on this particular site is way down more than 55%, uh, which means that uh, it's hard to generate uh, a sufficient amount of leads. And uh, we can use the long tail to I mean, get more searches, basically. And then I will cover a new thing that we're doing to help new writers or very good writers um, to get started in writing in WordUp. And we will introduce, we have tons of new, uh, new work and we're actively looking for both to train writers, but also to find new writers, I mean, fast track writers. So we will launch writing webinars. This will become a bit of a shock to the EVAs, but run them and it will be a forum for you to get new writers for your projects. Uh, we will run a Q&A. The purpose of this webinar here is that we run a remote organization and uh, I run this webinar uh, not only to uh, show what we're doing, but also so there's a weekly kind of uh, Q&A, uh, all hands on deck kind of meeting where anyone can ask anything. And frankly, if you don't ask it here, uh, you might not get the answer because we tend to try to, we have so many people asking questions. Uh, we have over 30,000 registered people in our platform. So we, uh, we simply cannot answer uh, questions individually. And finally, uh, uh, instructions on how you will get the eight reward points. So if we go to the site, it's been a bad week. Um, I mean, it's not because we have done a, a necessarily bad job. It's more that, I mean, the, the, actually we have done a good job. Uh, the, the, it's more that um, the searches are so low now uh, for this particular site, which is uh, hair transplantation in Turkey, uh, in, in, uh, I mean, mainly. Um, so it's hard to generate leads. As you can see here, I mean, almost all the sites are down. Uh, Hairland Transplant Turkey, if you didn't join last week, um, it is actually down from the all-time high, where, which was like 80 leads in a week. Uh, now it's picking up again, uh, and our average cost is finally going down. Uh, Hairland Transplantation, we're experimenting with a new, more automated flow. And as you can see, it has some problems. Uh, what is good is that the SEO part is going pretty good. Um, 
on the right here, this time around, I didn't feel like I wanted to go into details that much. Um, so Sanna, uh, I think you've done a fantastic job. I, I'll actually show your site now, I think. So I need to close this one. And then I guess copy this. Oops, I don't need. So Sanna is like a machine. She's incredibly good at execution. If you're here, Sanna, you can take it all to yourself. And one of the things she did this week was adding a summary page. So this one. Yeah. So there's a top list here uh, with all the clinics. You have 15 clinics when I checked this morning. Uh, I mean, we need to update this page a bit. I think this is fantastic. This is how the internet works and it goes into our strategy. Uh, I mean, of long tail here. Uh, I mean, the reviews look all good. Uh, you fantastic job here. One thing I think you should do here, we will start with outreach for these sites because uh, it's time to rank them, but um, you should add some kind of element here on the front page uh, summarizing this because you have 15 uh, clinic reviews now if you add five more then it starts to become pretty interesting for the users so you need to promote it here and it also will give this uh, google spider it, it will make it easier to call the site so that's definitely something you should do um what else did i write i think i uh, should write at least five clinics something next week and then i will help you with the outreach part Linda uh, has done a good job. You should also do the same here. I mean, do this top list, add seven clinics, and we will start with outreach. Same for Helene. Uh, Randy, uh, you, I mean, I, I understood there was some confusion on what you were supposed to do. So you, you need to look at the other sites and try to mimic it. And one thing here that is, I mean, frankly, a disaster is speed. I mean, speed, we have a speed webinar. Uh, you need to work on the speed part. And uh, like, uh, you can ask questions here, and you can ask Evas. I mean, all of the Evas here, Linda, Na, and Helene, and obviously Linda, they have done a great job with speed. So, I mean, you can ask them how they do it, but after you've done the webinar, basically. Hairline Transplant Turkey. We should have a list on the front page and we, I mean, we need tons of new writers. We need to write like 28 clinics and start with outreach. I will help with the outreach part. Um, and the same for hairline transplantation, where we hopefully have found an Eva now. Jörn just had a meeting about it. And hortransplantation.dk, Monica and Anne, if you're listening, you need to catch up. So basically look at the other sites and try to do the same and I mean speed is a huge issue here so uh, I will not cover this too much but like so in the end uh, you can write in word up and then you get the task assigned so the only requirement we have is I mean and the, in, the, the original idea was that you just log in when you have time uh, as long as you can write and you know the way we want you to write that's why we have this weekly webinars uh, you can write a bit on the subway. You can do a couple of surveys. I mean, you can do different things. There is no like um, conditions attached to it really, except that the text is good. I mean, that's what you get paid for. However, if you are an elite word dapper, I mean, you are, we train you and it's very hard. Uh, we train you to learn some of the things that our clients require. And the reason why I mean, we're doing incredibly well in Corona times and stuff is because, for example, Sanna or Helene, they have been doing this for a while. They put in all the time and doing a fantastic jobs. And I mean, it's kind of like our clients are saying, why don't you take our money and help us uh, and do more? Uh, but this, I mean, you can ask them yourself, but it, it, it is a lot of effort required. And as a, freelancer professional you simply don't get paid to learn the skills that you require that that 
it would be like telling a driver uh, or be uh, saying that you want to be a driver and then you tell uh, and you want someone to pay for your driving license. It's, it's, it doesn't work. Uh, for Uber driver to ask Uber to pay for driving license in this case. So, I, I mean, it's a lot of self studies. That's why we have the webinars. Uh, it's a lot of, we, we expect people to be self going. These are the key guys. Your job is to improve them. And we are looking to train like up to 100 EVAs this year alone. So, I guess, uh, I mean, if you're up to it and want to put in the hours, uh, not uh, only will you only. get a lot of work from us and sites like this, you will also get, um, I mean, you can also freelance for anyone. That's what you learn here. If you've got uh, time. Okay. Is there... Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Then, okay, so the problem of this week, I mean, the reason why the graph is that this is... Um, that uh, searches are down a lot. So I will go to the next slide. And if you look at this one, I, uh, I did a bit of research of cost hair transplant Turkey, and it has, the volume has gone down, I mean, 55%. So I think it's like 60,000 in July, 2019. And now it's like, 22,000 or something like that. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's not very good. And average CPC is pretty high. Uh, so how do you generate more leads in that? And I don't know, I mean, if you don't know it, I mean, not everybody knows it, uh, is Google charges more, the more clicks you get. So in, 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 if you want to get uh, I mean, you have uh, several ways. So, uh, when you do uh, SEM marketing, you pay per impressions actually. So, click is not really what you pay for. That's why CPR is so important. However, this is like um, a screenshot of uh, a Google Ads account, uh, our Google Ads account, where you can see that if we would want to have 10 leads in a week, uh, which we have now, we're paying 15.9 euro for these 10 leads. So the, the monthly cost uh, or the weekly cost is 159 euro and 10 conversions is 15.9. However, if we say we want to buy more, if you go to, I don't know, like any markets uh, and say, I want to buy more, they typically say, okay, I will lower the price. Uh, Google doesn't do that. Google does the opposite. They say like, okay, uh, if you want more, you have to pay more. I guess you make money on it. So uh, if you want to have 17 conversions, your cost goes up from 15.9 euro per lead to 40.8. On 40.8, if you have a 10% conversion rate, you pay 408 euro per client. I mean, uh, Google is making the money, you're not making any money on it. So this is not an option. In our case, we need to be at around 10 euro per lead to actually make a profit on it. Uh, otherwise, it's simply too expensive. So we cannot increase our budget. And this is a common problem that is, um, I mean, yeah, it's a Google problem. Uh, the only thing you can do is that you can find more keywords. And in our case, uh, like uh, we are adding reviews for clinics and we think it, this not only helps the users, it also gives us way more searches. And I added 47 clinics here on a global basis. And I mean, it, they're not very niche, but the idea here is very clear. The average trend is plus 2%. Obviously this, uh, the people who search for this are pretty close to uh, buying and we can help them get a good deal and if you look at the search volume here it is over 1 million so this is how and that's why we're doing all of these reviews and the lists this is how you get more um, more leads and I mean if you take the whole idea of Amazon or any e-shop is that in a store you have limited space uh, on the internet you basically have unlimited space so uh, if I can get one click for a site, uh, for, for uh, uh, a keyword, one a year, 
can it convert somehow and will i'm going to be willing to do it so and the reason i'm saying this is just like i felt like i mean uh, on each of this webinar there should be some interesting information and some background until how to do it there's an excellent book uh by uh, yeah the question was the guy's name but it's called uh, a long tail um a fantastic book on how this works if you're not read it i think it's called christensen okay and now uh, i want to get uh, so we're doing this change now uh, for next week um and i wanted to explain a bit for everyone that is joining today or anyone that uh, is looking at this video afterwards how do new writers get started so first of all word app is like it says it, it is words so we are a platform that, where we build and scale wordpress websites and scaling means maintaining them and making them bigger uh, so you need to be able to write i mean uh, if you cannot write you cannot word app i mean the, the, the writing is i mean it's core um, so, but if you want to write, and I believe that most people, because we have spent more than 10,000 hours learning our language, can learn how to write. We have kind of a program where uh, anyone can learn how to write for the internet, because that's, it's not necessarily the same thing, writing the way you learn in school and writing for the internet. And most people, frankly, get it wrong. So, uh, step one is that you earn reward points, and you can do this by surveys. We have in... Finland and Sweden and in more countries now we have something called Google devices reviews we can earn them uh, in this re uh, webinar you will earn eight reward points uh, and then step two you spend reward points on training tasks where payment is much lower the reason why payment is lower is not because we want to kind of rip you off or something the payment is lower because we pay the Eva and the editor to coach you uh, and if you write good, you will get access. After a while, it might take a couple of webinars. As I said, we will have them weekly. Uh, you will get access to normal tasks. So this is the basic framework. And you start by very simple tasks like uh, product descriptions or uh, blog posts where, uh, and then you go up to harder and harder tasks. And we will in, uh, try to put as many tasks as we can in the task feed. Uh, but uh, to some extent, you also have to join the webinars and kind of impress the Evas. And I will tell more about that now. So we have a couple of deals running where, um, I mean, not only our, uh, like this, uh, our lead sites, but we also have, uh, we're building quite a lot of sites in a lot of languages now where um, we will start running regular webinars simply because we need more writers. I mean, uh, we, we cannot deliver fast enough. So you see soon, you see here what's going on. And in Turkish, I made quite some progress this week. Uh, so there will be sites there each month as well. Uh, it's a bit problem of sourcing the domains, but uh, I think I've solved the way to do that. Okay, so how will the weekly writing webinars work? So um, if you're a new uh, user, you're not, I mean, you, you, you just see this uh, webinar for the first time and you're new to WordUp, you will actually get an invitation to a webinar and first time only, you will get free reward points to be able to write your first blog post. And then, uh, an elite word, I mean, in that webinar, you should not start, a lot of people start writing right away and they mess up the first task. Yeah, but then you kind of, I know that you're eager to start, but it's not easy to write for the web. There is some recordings. I mean, I guess if you watch all of the recordings, uh, Helene has some really, also has some really good ones. Uh, Linda has some really good ones now in English. If you write all of those and study uh, keyword, if you have some experience in writing, you should be able to make it. However, isn't it better to wait a couple of days and join a live webinar where you get the, the tasks assigned? I would really suggest that. So they will write to you how, uh, uh, show you how to write the training tasks. I mean, it's real text actually. And uh, you can ask questions there. So if you have any questions, you can ask them in the webinars. And this is frankly the only way you can do it. And then it's up to the Eva 
if they want to do it like, I mean, off work hours, uh, coaching some other way, it's not required of them. Uh, I know I mean, almost all of them love to help other people, so they do that, but it's really not required. And then, uh, so the, the, like uh, in the, uh, when I did the review, I showed some KPIs there. So the, the, all the EVAs, uh, we have two rules. I mean, they have to do perfect quality, but they also have to build teams. So we believe in train the trainer or pay it forward or whatever you want to call it. So they, their job is to deliver fast. And uh, the more people they have that can help them, they get anyway a very big share uh, as a, like, for managing the task. So they don't necessarily need to write tasks. They make more money by helping people to write than to actually write themselves. So therefore, uh, if you impress them and uh, you do a good job, they will give you more. They will give you uh, of their work. And this is the same. I mean, the same thing works for existing users. I, I want to give you two tips here. Um, like, you don't get so many chances to impress. So we have a lot of webinars on YouTube. Uh, you have to self-study. Uh, and this is, I think it's like, um, if you are a freelancer, you're expected to know a lot of stuff. People are not going to pay you if you don't know stuff. And they're definitely not going to pay you to learn. It's part of the job. Uh, so you should self-study. And if you do that, you will be fine. Uh, so, I mean, it's hard to become a freelancer. Tip two, I mean, this is like I said in the beginning, like Word app, Word, you cannot do language mistakes. I mean, if you do that, I know that some people have gotten burned because they forgot to double check uh, for spelling mistakes or grammatical mistakes. I mean, no ever is going to take you up. I mean, I would never do it. I mean, why waste my time uh, proofreading someone else's text when they get paid to write uh, good text? I mean, it, it's not efficient. So please double check and triple check and quadruple check your texts. Because if you, if you write a good text, everybody can make some mistakes. But if you double check it, I mean, considered like a very important application uh, letter for a job that you send every time you do it. And uh, if you get into the habit of doing that, I mean, your texts are going to be amazing and you will impress any client, basically. So now I thought, Froge <laughs> Podet is Swedish, um, I thought I will run a bit of Q&A Jörn usually helps me with this, so let me open the chat. Uh, Jörn, do you have any questions for me here? Uh, I still cannot figure out how to open this Q&A thing, so I should have probably checked that. But do you have any questions for me? From the people joining, there's 16 people today. Okay, so Friedrich is asking, is there enough work? Yes, there is enough work, but it is not like you can just log in and get the work. It's uh, if you, uh, yeah, you cannot see it in the way. You have to run, uh, uh, join the writing webinars. We have about eight websites a month that we're building just right now. Plus, um, let me go back and check. Because I don't remember, but I think we have a backlog of 23 clinic texts in July. And I mean, it's like seven days left for whortransplantation.com. So there's definitely tasks there. But like I said, you need to get in contact in this case with Randy. Um, and then you have these sites a month where you, you need to learn how to build a website. We have webinars for it. Uh, Sun is uh, managing it globally. Uh, uh, but I mean, again, it's uh, a lot of uh, self-study required. So we use, um, uh, I mean, different tools to do it. Uh, and if you don't know how to do those, it, it will be hard for you to do it. So then uh, it does, so the task feed, um, uh, 
we will add a lot of reward tasks there, but to get the regular tasks, because the quality assurance and the management is done by Neva, uh, they are typically private. Uh, I know, I think, Fredrika, that you have a pretty high level. So uh, if you join a couple of writing webinars with uh, Randy and ask for some clinic text, I'm sure she will um, want to assign you more because she has a big, pretty big backlog. So Brian is asking, hi Jam, other than uh, search engine marketing, can the sites also be promoted on social media platforms? Uh, definitely. I mean, um, right now uh, we, we are kind of setting the structure for, uh, for, I mean, this hair sites, but we have tons of other sites like this also that uh, I'm just using them um, in the webinar to have some framework to go after. Uh, Right now, the issue is more that we want to finish this uh, the SEO and SEM part and rank them, and then we definitely need to start adding um, like I mean, Facebook leads and uh, Instagram leads and stuff like that. And if you know, if you have some experience in this, uh, please reach out to us because then I'm sure that we want to do. Uh, I mean, we can try something on one of the sites. Okay, guys, I mean, yeah, like Jorn is saying, if you don't have any questions yet, this is the time to ask. Uh, please don't ask it afterwards. Uh, and if everything is crystal clear, I count down like three, two, one. We move on. Okay, then we will go to how to get the reward task for this webinar. Uh, and you need to. Um, so if you have joined this webinar, uh, you need to Skype, uh, not Skype, I mean in, in our uh, chat on wordup.com, you need to send your um, WordUp ID. And as you see here on the image, you first click on your profile, you log in and you click on your name or your initials. Uh, and then you copy paste this ID. And then we will send you an email uh, I mean, uh, where you will do what we call Google devices review. So you will uh, be giving a keyword that you Google uh, and uh, then you take a screenshot of the SERP. Um, you go to the site, you rate speed, language and overall experience. And then you give us your best suggestion on how to improve the site. So if you check last week's webinar, we totally messed up hairline transplant turkey uh, the conversion there and uh, if you have any good suggestions i mean that you think will work uh we will definitely give you the shot if you have some experience with it also we will definitely give you the shot to try some stuff out um and ju just so you don't ask in the chat all the time i mean we will at if you complete these things you will get your eight points at before next webinar i mean probably earlier it's just that we have a lot to do. So uh, the only thing I can promise is that, I mean, next, before next week, Thursday at uh, uh, 5.30 Central European time, you will have your points. Okay, I think that that's it for today. So please go to wordup.com and click in the chat and paste your ID. Uh, I think you should do it right now. And then we will... Uh, tomorrow or maybe well, tomorrow is Friday, probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow uh, we will assign you the, uh, the job. And as long as you complete it, like during the weekend or whatever, you will get your bot. And then uh, you can join the uh, writing webinars. You will get an invitation to them. Uh, please check your junk email uh, and add word up dot com to i mean to your contacts then you will not get it into the spam folder anymore um, okay guys have a nice week and i'll talk to you guys next week uh, bye bye everyone <laughs>